Well, I had the uh, opportunity to moderate a very important session under the tutelage of the Nizami Center on how to build a sustainable peace in the South Caucasus. We had a robust discussion and we had over 40 former leaders, presidents, prime ministers and ministers talking about the importance in the region, uh, not only as an east-west uh, corridor, but also the importance it has for infrastructure, energy and geopolitics. But we actually looked at the history and stability of uh, entire regions like the South Caucasus and the problem of the frozen conflicts of which perhaps one of the most famous, if not the most famous, is the case of Nagorno-Karabakh. And we are here next to the United Nations, where there have been five rulings, decisions by the United Nations that defend the interests of Azerbaijan and recognize the uh, veracity of the Azerbaijani claims. And we hope that that, along with other frozen conflicts, will get unfrozen as the world moves towards being a better place for the next generation to whom we must all pass the battle. We need to be creative with our partners uh, in multilateral setting, with our strategic partners as individual countries as well, within the UN and then the General Assembly setting obviously as well, how the development of our countries in the region and of the region could be more rather than just how the conflict could be resolved, rather containing the effects of the conflict during the times when conflict resolution seems to be not as easy in the short term to see that that is not a precluding factor for otherwise development of our region. In an interconnected world, peace and security is increasingly indivisible so that conflicts in the Caucasus spill over and affect people worldwide. And so we're very interested in the future of the Caucasus, how it is a bridge between East and West and North and South, how it's an alternative path from Europe to the East and from the East to Europe and into the South someday when Iran becomes more uh, integrated into the global economy. So peace and stability in this region is critical to world commerce and to international security. And I think it's very important for the world to understand that there are six conflicts taking place on the borders of Europe, from Nagorno-Karabakh to Georgia to Ukraine to Moldova. And this, as we pointed out yesterday, these are not just regional issues. These really are major international geopolitical issues, because if we don't stop these uh, conflicts now, if we do not find a way to resolve them, it's very possible they will spread and so we will have a seventh, an eighth, and ninth. And I think it's very important that we have leaders from many different regions of the world come together to discuss these types of global issues that truly do affect everyone. And that is the, the benefit of the Nizami Ganjavi International Center high-level meetings to really bring together some of the best minds and discuss resolving issues.